Hi, I'm Lisa Neff Wheeler. I've lived in New Jersey the majority of my life. I've lived in the Hillsborough, Montgomery, New Jersey area for over 30 years. I love living here. The area has maintained its country feel while having the conveniences of a more urban area. I look forward to sharing why I love the area and the local businesses. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lisa Neff Wheeler with Coldwell Banker Realty and I'm here today with Pinky Shaw. Hello. She is the owner of the Kumon Math and Reading Center in Skillman. Um, the Kumon Center focuses on providing a after school enrichment program to help students become more um, successful in their academics uh, to enable them to achieve whatever goals they want in the future. So I've been looking forward to this interview to learn more about Pinky as well as her center because my son actually went to a different center so we were just talking about that. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you Lisa. How have you been? I've been good. Surviving the heat? Yes. How about yourself? <laughs> Surviving the heat. Yes. <laughs> it's been nice to get a little bit out of the heat. <laughs> My son plays baseball and we've been sitting outside a lot, so oh, that must be brutal. <laughs> yeah. So I know you've you've had this business for a very long time. Right. So think go back in the way back time machine and talk a little bit about what led you to start your business and why you sure. started your business. So I started this business about 22 years ago mm -hmm. and um, it was because I had a small child at that time and I wanted to do wanted to start something for myself and my sister-in-law who at that time had used Kumon for her kids uh -huh. suggested that I should do that since I already had a, a teaching background from India so one thing led to the other and here I am you know having this nice business yeah. that's wonderful mm -hmm. So what surprised you most about um, owning your own business? For me, when I you know, got out of corporate America, it was like that whole structure you have between work and family life, it kind of got blown up. Right. So you know, what surprised you the most about owning your own business? Um, I would say more than surprising, I would say it's satisfaction. Um, you know, being my own boss, mm -hmm. having my own hours, uh, flexibility, also uh, making a difference for all the children who come in here. You know, everything leads to one thing to the other and I'm like, oh, this is nice. You know, uh, every day is different for us. So. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that too. So think back and, and you're, you have a big center. I mean, just for everyone, you're seeing one little part of a pretty big um, center here. So I know you have a lot of students, but I always ask people who are in the education field, what's been, you know, what has been your most impactful instructor experience as part of this process? Um, you're right, uh, it is challenging, it's not easy, but I can definitely say that I feel really um, accomplished when I when I when I see the kids scoring great in school and you know every day we say oh, okay she'll get this or he'll get this but it's like no not today and then eventually like it's like a Rubik's Cube you know uh -huh. it's clicked uh -huh. and it's like oh wow you know this worked you know so we it is a challenging moment for us also because every child is different yep and for us to work with every child we make sure that we use different strategies what works for the child more than saying oh okay this is what you have to do why don't you give people a high level overview of because Kumon has a specific approach just a real high quick brief introduction of, of how you approach helping the students sure um, so basically Kumon is not a tutoring program mm -hmm. it is more a self-independent self-learning program through which you know instructors like us guide the children and give them different strategies for them to solve their worksheets that they are working on mm -hmm. um, it is not only getting to the basic facts but also going ahead of their school level so we want to make sure that they are really confident and you know they are uh, accelerating very well in school so our aim and our goal is for not only to 
for them to be above grade level, uh -huh. but also to be, you know, program completers, which essentially helps them with high school math, high school reading, because we cover, um, you know, math and reading for ages three all the way up to uh -huh. high school. So it really helps with basic foundation, as well as confidence, as well as, uh, you know, just being more, um, you know, at it. More, that's what I would say is because they are confident that oh math is easy reading is easy so they're not spending that much time on that but they're learning different things in school oh, that's great mm -hmm. so what drives and motivates you um, as I said you know this is all revolved around my students yeah and um, every day you know to see like a three-year-old actually reading you know that's a motivation for me yep. um, and you know when the when the parents come in here and say oh he hates math or she hates math and then three months later they say you know what she did very well in school that's all part of my motivation you know like okay this is a challenge i need to do this and that's how motivates me to come in here and you know challenge my kids to excel in school that's awesome mm -hmm. so look at where you are now and every business has gone through kind of the ringer over the last couple of years it's been pretty hard from you know everyone i talk to they're like oh it's been so hard so we're kind of in getting to that stable moment what goals do you have as you enter this different period of you know i'll call it post pandemic period what goals do you have for your business so our goals are Obviously, everybody should know what Kumon is. So <laughs> Kumon should be in every household. Uh -huh. That's definitely our number one goal. Mm -hmm. um, and my second goal is that every student that walks through this door should walk out as a program completer. You know, okay. that's as important as you know doing the program is to make sure that we complete what we start off with. Mm -hmm. So those are my two main goals that we have. Now, any help you need from, I always ask this, because um, with the labor market the way it is, and it's it's maybe getting a tiny bit better, but I always ask, is there any help from the community that you need to help you achieve your goals? Um, walk into the center. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your kids in here, and hopefully I can help them out. <laughs> And to everyone, they're in Montgomery Shopping Center. Yes. <laughs> right next to the pizza store. And Thomas Sweets. <laughs> and Thomas Sweets. Yes. Um, so what is something uh, most people don't know about your business? Um, first thing is that we're not a cheering center. Um, that's one thing that, you know, and how we customize the program especially for the child. Mm -hmm. It's um, completely customized to their potential and their ability. And that's what, you know, um, people are not aware of Kumon. It's the largest after school program in the whole of US. And, um, you know, we've been here for more than 60 years and mm -hmm. it's worked, you know, we have over the time seen the success of the program, and that's what a lot of people are not aware of is what Kumon is. That's great. Mm -hmm. And then to structure the programs, um, do you, you know, talk a little bit about the testing aspect of it, you know, yes. how you assess students in the beginning, but then also as they progress Correct. to make sure they're, you know, meeting their objectives. Right. So when they walk in here, we do give them an assessment test just so that we know the levels of the student. And once we determine that um, every so often, every level, end of level, we do give them an assessment test okay. just so that we are sure and we are confident with what they have learned and to make sure that they have that right balance of uh, what they need to progress ahead. So anything exciting going on with that you want the community and your customers to know about? Um, sure, actually we are offering a free registration program right now. Okay. Uh, it starts from August 15th mm -hmm. and it runs all the way until um, October 15th. It's a $50 value that uh, you know the community can take advantage of. Also, once the uh, students are enrolled in our system, 
uh, we do have a yearly award ceremonies to motivate the students also uh, where each and, our, each and every student is you know recognized for their uh, work so far Anything I didn't ask you that you wanted to be asked or wanted to bring up? I think we have covered a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> so to our audience, thanks for watching. We really appreciate your time. Um, thanks so much Thank for you, joining Lisa. me, Pinky. It's been really nice meeting you, learning more about your center, and I appreciate your time. And Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity hang out with me Thank you. um if there if you are a business owner or know someone um who would be interested in being featured in one of these interviews please don't hesitate to contact me at 732-267-1204 once again i'm lisa neff wheeler realtor with Colwell banker realty take care have a great day see you on the next episode bye-bye thank you